What is going on guys, DBG here and today lads we're going to be talking about what is coming next week lads. We're going to be talking about some of the free cards that we could potentially be seeing in NBA 2K23 my team. So lads, I'm very very confident that we're going to be seeing um, Galaxy Opals. I'm extremely, extremely confident of that. And the reasoning is that we've obviously gone from diamonds one week. The next week we went and saw ourselves go and get some pink diamonds. And in the week after the pink diamonds, we got ourselves the galaxy opals, which is gonna be re which is really, really important. So yeah, um that is a that is a massive one. So um like we saw last week, outside of the Nazi Muhammad day, where you got Michael Doliak, Pinkney was a really good, and also like Reggie Williams was good. Not in the Nazi Muhammad Doliak day, which is awful. Like Reggie Williams was good. I don't know why I, anyone would have taken any of the point guards, but Jared Jack was pretty good. Although Jared Jack came out the same day as Justin Jackson, who's been insane. And we got some really, really good ones at these last week. We got like obviously Pinkney, Jared Jeffries, Villanueva. Um, and Justin Jackson, all really, really good cards. And like, if you look at my my actual team, like my actual squad, I've got Pinkney playing, Pinkney and Jeffries. I've got three of these guys in my squad. It's just obviously we haven't really gotten any decent point guards or we haven't gotten any decent centers. And there are guys that could we could potentially see next week that could be huge as Galaxy Opals. So one of them, I think that what we're going to see at least one, one seven foot two center. I think we initially I thought we saw Ralph Sampson, but there's another place where I think where we're gonna see Ralph Sampson. I think Ralph Sampson is gonna be the lock in for the Dark Matters. I think he's gonna be that card um, for the like the prime set. But at the end of the day, I also think that I'm struggling to think what I was thinking right now. But um, at the end of the day, I think that we're gonna see a tall center. I think we might see a Rick Smith, uh, or I think we might see a um, Georgetown Roy Hibbert. Because obviously, Rick Smith played four years in college. Roy Hibbert was pretty good at Georgetown. Um, I was supposed to see what are tallest college centers. Because like, it's not like we're going to see Kenny George. We're not going to see the seven foot seven Kenny George. I'm trying to think of who else there is that's been tall. Like obviously they're, when they're not giving us taco. They're not giving us that seven for four dude, that Zach Ide guy. Because well, he is gonna be ridiculous. Like if he gets drafted and is taking the second round, he's gonna be absolutely ridiculous. They're obviously not giving a Simbular. That guy played did he even play D1? But um You just never uh I mean, Paul Paul Sturgis. They're not going to give us a Paul Sturgis card. They never. He um. He never played. In, he played college. Yeah, he played at Florida Tech for a year and wherever Mountain State was for a few years. Paul Sturgis was seven foot eight. That man was a giant. Played in BBL for a while as well, but they're probably not going to give us that. As far as the um. Things go as far as the um, oh, point guards go. We're probably not getting anyone good. Like tall point guards in college, Lonzo, not really. Um, a lot of tall point guards. It's it's unlikely we get a tall one. MCW, I think maybe we could have gotten him, but no. I'm trying to think what tall point guards were very good through college. None that I can think of, to be honest. None that I can think of. But this is going to be a huge, huge week for my team content. Like, if we, we're getting f probably five free Galaxy Opals next week. And that is going to be insane. Like, if the pink diamonds, again, if three of the pink diamonds make my team. All we need is a decent, and then also four of the pink diamonds. Because we got Villanueva there at the end of the bench. Like, there's a good chance that another one or two of the other guys go and make the team as well. Like, this guy's spot's not safe. As much as I love Taco, if we do go and get a Roy Hibbert or something, 
seven foot two with a bit of mobility um he'll replace the amethyst taco i still can't believe i'm using a card from uh december the 23rd i've literally got a card from december the 23rd in my team which is kind of nuts but uh look it is what it is it is what it is this is a um this is just a cheese ball card. Not quite as much of a cheese ball as this guy. But like, Eaton's kind of a must-have at this stage. But yeah. But yeah, like this is a... It's an absolutely fantastic, fantastic set. Um, these rewards have been insane. Again, other than Doliac, the rest of them are in my team. And I'm expecting us to get even better in the last week of this. As well as this. Like, we're going to be getting... Um, this card here we're gonna be getting glenn rice so like we're going to be getting i mean at least well it's likely now we're gonna be getting six galaxy opal awards i don't think we're gonna get any dark matters and a lot of people are like oh we just need that one dark matter award you should lock in for dark matters like, i couldn't give a damn about a card being a dark matter like dark matters doesn't mean crap like this card sucks he sucks. He's pretty decent. He's not better. Like, he's no better than Charlie Villanueva. He's no better than Justin Jackson. And he just sucks. Like, Dark Matter doesn't mean anything. It doesn't. Like, obviously these guys are pretty good. Heck, this guy's not even as good as Matisse Thibel from last week. But So, Dark Matters don't mean anything. As long as we can get some good Galaxy Opals... I'll be happy, and I think that we're likely to go and get six of them next week. So, like, six free Galaxy Opals for in a week at this stage of the year is kind of crazy. And, like, you might be saying, oh, but we got a bunch of Dark Matters in other years. We got Richard Jefferson, and we got Richard Jefferson in the middle of, in the, literally in the middle of May. It was the middle of May. Do we got Richard Jefferson last year? We're clearly not going to be getting a whole bunch of free Dark Matters. But, like, this time last year, I didn't even have any Dark Matters in my squad. Like, maybe, maybe Luca? Actually, no, I think I had Luca. I think Luca was the only Dark Matter I had. Because I never even finished Jamarant. But, um, yeah. That is pretty much it, lads. That is the video. So, we got Bracket Busters right here. We got a lot, quite a lot of these old free cards. And we're going to be getting even more of them next week in what is going to be a ridiculous event. So be sure to log in every single day next week. Be sure to like keep up to date with your free cards. I think they're going to probably take a little bit longer to get. They might take an hour or two to get, but that doesn't matter. They're going to be, as the great fat boss would say, incroyable. So yeah, um, what has been one of the incredible events, I hope has a great ending.